hari guru bhyo namaha before i start i was so happy to hear this talu adhya kacheri onde ondu salahe vinnati nam guru gulu ege mattu nam mitrarige next time talu adhya rolagu on taniya vartana portion ondu maadi haadge ಹೇಗೆ ಸಾತ್ ಕೊಡೋದು ಹೇಗೆ ಅಕಾಂಪನಿ ಮಾಡೋದು ಎಂಬುದು ಅದೊಂದು ವೈಶಿಷ್ಟ್ಯವಾದ ಇದು ನಮ್ಮ ಶ್ರೀ ವಿಷ್ಣು ರಾಜಾರಾವ್ ಹೇಳ್ತಿರ್ತಾರೆ ತನಿಯ ವೃತ್ತನ ಒಳಗೆ ಕಲ್ಪನಾ ಕಲ್ಪಿತ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಕಲ್ಪನಾ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಇದ್ದು ಇದಾಗತ್ತೆ ಬಟ್ ವೇರಸ್ ಇದರೊಳಗೆ ಅದನ್ನು ತುಂಬಾ ಕಷ್ಟ ಅದು ಯಾರಿಗೂ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂಥೇಳಿ ಆ ರಹಸ್ಯ ನಾವು ಹೇಳ್ತಾಯಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಸೊ ಅದಕ್ಕೂ ಒಂದು ಅವಕಾಶ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಡಿ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ಅದರೊಳಗೆ ಆ ಪ್ರತಿಭೆಯನ್ನು ಕೂಡ ಅವರು ಹೊರಗೆ ಪ್ರಕಟಣೆ ಮಾಡಲಿ ಒಂದು ಅವಕಾಶ ಮಾಡಲಿ so tam irinda i take your permission to talk in english shamir pane marta dini jadu krita yugadalli yajana yajna digalu ತ್ರೇತಾಯುಗದಲ್ಲಿ ದನವಾಂತಕನ ದೇವತಾರ್ಚನೆಯು ದ್ವಾವರಯುಗದಲ್ಲಿ ಗಾಧಿ ಕೇಶವ ಜನರು ಕೈ ಕೊಟ್ಟು ು ಕಾಯ್ಮನಮ್ಮ ರಂಗ ಬಿಠಲ ದೊರೆಯೇ ಶ್ರೀಕರಿ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಶ್ರೀ ವಿಷ್ಣು ರಾಜಾರಾವ್ ಸರ್ ಕಳವತಿ ಅವಧೂತ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಸುಧೀಂದ್ರ ವೆಂಕಟರಾಮನ್ ಸರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಷ್ಟೋ ಮಹಾ ವಿದ್ವಾಂಸ್ ವಿದೂಷಿಗಳು ಕೂಡ ಬಂದಿದ್ದೀರಿ ರಸಿಕರು ಬಂದಿದ್ದೀರಿ ತುಂಬ ಸಂತೋಷ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಆನರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರಿವಿಲೇಜ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಟು ಮೀ ಬೈ ವಿದ್ವಾನ್ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ಸನ್ ಸುಸ್ವರಲಯ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಕ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಎಸ್ ಸುಧೀಂದ್ರ ಟು ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟಾಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಡ್ಯೂರೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗಿವ್ ಯು ದ ಲಿಸನಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ಲೆಷರ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಲೆಜೆಂಡ್ ಎ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಡಾಯಿನ್ and a great maestro lakshya lakshana vidwan sandhya vandanam shrinivas rao my guru and father accepts of like recordings for 30 minutes of duration at the end of my talk a question and answer session of 10 minutes duration relevant to this talk vidyarthi da oh <laughs> like most of the famous singers and musicians one such mahavidwan was besieged by aspiring young musician vidwan's encouragement and help once after a concert mahavidwan opened green room door to a trembling awestruck young rasika always gracious mahavidwan invited the admirer into the flower bank green room and asked do you sing my dear ah uh, no grasp uh, gasp the rasika mahavidwan motion to the veena well then do you play heavens no exclaimed rasika i just listen at that mahavidwan embraced astonished rasika i had forgotten said happily that there are rasikas left who only not listen not criticizing now the topic uh, i have chosen here is vyakti abhivyakti bhakti three facets of his great contribution as a life and achievement as a <clears throat> one of the greatest uh, practitioners of music it will be covered in my talk couple of days back in music academy it was more on <clears throat> uh the value systems which he followed and principle which he has given to the uh, uh, coming generations and all these things to follow so that will take a long time i need at least 3 hours for a normal uh, 
presentation, which nobody can afford. So, and uh, Siddhendra sir has hinted to me, if slightly, if you can need more time, feel free, and then you, you, you are given license to go ahead. But I would like to respect the time and then confine as much as possible to the given time. It is indeed a challenge to present the life and times of a great maestro and legend who lived for 76 years and practiced the art of for 64 years. Sandhyamandam Srinivasrao was born on August 21st, 1918 at Penukonda, Anantapur district, Andhra Pradesh. His father, Sri S. Narayan Rao, was an advocate practicing law and mother, Srimati Gangubai, was a housewife. Both the parents belonged to the Dasakuta family and their ancestors belonged to Sri Rangapatnam, Mysore, serving in the Royal Services Treasury. They belonged to Desastha Madhva community with mother tongue Marathi, Having settled in Mysore state and through marriage, Kannada has become the mother tongue. Later migrating to Penukonda and Anantapur, Telugu language became the language for study along with Sanskrit. Sandhyam Srinivasa lived in Vijayawada for four, uh, six years and later migrated to Madras, Chennai in 1954. Proficiency in Tamil language also picked up. Thus, S.S. Rao truly belongs to erstwhile Vijayanagara kingdom of Karnataka region. S.S. Rao studied and attained scholarship in Sanskrit. S.S. Rao lost his mother at a very tender age of five and was a self-made man with minimal support from his father who married second time and gave birth to almost 12 or 14 children and maternal uncle uh, for education. S.S. Rao acquired BA and BL degrees and practiced law for a few years. That is about four to five years. He had to marry thrice, losing first and second wife one after the other. He faced career challenges both in All India Radio, Central College of Carnatic Music, which is now known as Tamil Nadu Government Music College. He faced professional challenges in not getting well uh, get uh, deserved support for a practice as a performer. He adroitly, stoically managed the challenges to physical, psychological, with love and passion for classicism in Karnataka Sangeetam. A great maestro who was honored with a big purse advised other practitioners, money makes you greedier. But it is something more than that. It is not a matter of being corrupted. It is that when you are earning very lit little, you must value yourself for what you are. When you are offered fortunes, unless you are very mature, you are tempted to value yourself for what you are earning. S.S. Rao had very few personal friends and also very <coughs> only few personal musician friends, mostly all India radio colleagues in particular. He enjoyed special relationship with Shamangudi Mama, Veena S. Balachandar, Kunnukudi Vaidyanathan, K. V. Nand Swami, D. K. J. Raman, Veena Dursayangar, R. K. Shrikantan Sir, Selopalayangar. <coughs> S.S. Rao, some of the serious challenges were losing the program executive position in All India Radio, Vijayawada, by seniority of less by one day, despite his meritorious services due to policy decision to professionalize the services by Dr. Keska, uh, Information Broadcasting Minister. On selection of uh, Tamil Nadu government as a principal, faculty with the exception of few and students went on a strike as a protest for selecting outsider. Musiri, principal relenting to the pressures from the faculty, sought one year extension and later, S.S. Rao was persuaded to accept to serve one year as vice principal and getting automatically elevated as principal. Faculty was forced to call off the strike by the Tamil Nadu government, threatening to close the institute rather than meeting the unjust demands of faculty. Restrictive service rules of All India Radio and Tamil Nadu government resulted in accepting very few performing opportunities. 
Sangeet Natak Academy arranged concert of uh, S.S. Rao and awardee in the presence of then President of India, Dr. Neelam Sanjeev Reddy. Vidwan Shastri violinist met with a minor accident and could reach venue only after considerable lapse of time and he had to perform the prestigious concert only with Velo Ram Badran, really Badran, accompany on Murdangam. Central HRD Ministry appointed Rao as National Professor of Carnatic Music Institute, instituted for the first time, but he died before he could join the duty. Gayana Samaja announced the award of Sangeeta Kala Ratna to S.S. Rao in the year 1980, and Karnataka musicians led by great maestros protested that a non kannadiga was selected, boycotted the conference. Gayana Samaja management, ignoring their protests, held the conference, which is held as one of the best uh, uh, by Mali sir himself who conveyed to me. Awards and honors. Rao did achieve recognition of a great legend, Doyen and Maestro from his contemporary great legends, Doyens and Maestros, and by generation next. Was bestowed with very few but prestigious awards, honors like Sangeet Natak Academy Award, Sangeet Kala Ratna by Gayana Samaja, Sangeet Kala Acharya and TTK Award from Music Academy, Asthana Vidwan of Tirumala uh, Tirupati Devasthanam, Sangeet Vidyanidhi of Vishaka Music Academy, Sangeet Kala Nipuna of Jagara Sangeet Sabha, Anantapur, Honorary Doctorate from Sri Krishnadevaraya University, Anantapur, Swar Vilas by Sur Singer, Samsad, Mumbai. He was a Vedantin. I also learned besides music Vedanta from him. In Vedanta Upanishads, especially Aitreya and Taitreya Upanishad, there are two states. One is called Vyavaharartha, other is called Paramarthika. Vyavaharartha is <coughs> materialism and realism, Adhyatmika is idealism. So any practitioner of classical music has to have this state to realize himself and take his listeners to uplift to that states. Second, this thing is in ka uh, it talks about karma. Of the karma, akama, atma karma. So desires are real. So when you of the karma is you get a fulfilled existence when your desires are met. Akama is a state, you are ending all the desires, which is very rare and the rarest. Still rarest is Atma Kama. So Atma Kama is soul realization, soul illumination. So this soul in relevant to the, our Indian classical music is the Lakshya Lakshanas, essence core elements of offering, practice, learning, practicing and delivering the bliss to the listeners. So in that, our uh, great Shastras uh, create three levels of ideals, Bhamara Rajakatva, Pandita Rajakatva, Pandita Bhamara Rajakatva. Pandita Bhamara Rajakatva is the highest ideals. Then it also gets a, uh, uh, another set of uh, goals of music. This chief goals of music are one is Deha Suddhi, so the sound frequencies which being uh, generated by the musician sitting on stage, it, uh, it has to create a physical uh, energy and enthusiasm, even excitement one kind. Second is Karna Suddhi. Whatever performer is or perform set of musicians giving, it should be pleasant to the ears. If it is not pleasant, it will not be received at all. Third, highest, uh, next higher, this thing is Manas Suddhi. For Deha Suddhi is only to uh, get the applause. 
get the attention of the listeners. Karnasuddhi is partly that and partly where Aham of the performer desires the appreciation and feedback from the listeners. Third, Manasuddhi is the equivalence between Raghavava and Sahitya Bhava you deliver, where the artist's own sense of imagination, ideation, creativity is at its peak. Also, listeners also taken in that journey of uh, imagination and ideation, the benefits of creativity. The highest goals as per Shastra is Chitta Suddhi. That is intellectual pleasure, which is again very, very rare and rarest of the rare, where it gives you for, for, uh, the bliss, bliss of peace, ananda. When we say the, the supreme is Sachidananda, ananda is one surupa of this thing. Sulabha Marga, music, Indian classical music, in particular the Carnatic it is developed in such a fashion, you get bliss. Then I move on to, this is about Vektiktva, which I tried to develop, which is the embodiment of the uh, character of the individual, character of a student, character of a practitioner, practitioner of a scholar, performer, all these put together, it forms the body of his uh, character, when the character is synonymous with creativity. Abhivekti. Abhivekti is embodiment articulation. Passion for excellence in learning. Srinivasarao received initial training from Pallavi Pakka Hanumantachar, Tirupati Rangacharyuru, Chilamattu Ramaya. He received advanced training from great maestros like Tiger Vardachar, Maharaj Param Vishwanathayar, Dwaram Venkat Swaminayudu, and Mysore Vasudevachar. Rao also received special training from Thiel Venkat Ramayar, on Muddhaswami Dikshita, C.S. Hayas Yamasastri Kritis, Vijay Krishna Kshetragnapadam, and Tanjur Pannaya Pillai, Pallavi and Rare Compositions. All these maestros, I need not tell you, you are all aware, they were such a great uh, <coughs> contributors for these um, compositions and uh, Barneys and styles. So he chose deliberate consciously to go to various uh, uh, gurus to imbibe all that so that his core value remained Pathantara Suddhatva. He never compromised and he went to the right people who are who can part with that uh, knowledge to him. And another important this thing is when in the formative years, I think up to eight years, the gurus which he has uh, learned, he has not forgotten. In every day, he has been giving all these gurus' names also. Many people, they said, nobody knows, but for Sanjayam Sinasra, telling about that. This is very important. That is not only the gurus, uh, obeisance is going to give us also blessings and grace. It is also improves our own uh, devotion. So guru, is nothing but a, a personification of devotion. Excellence in classism. Sandhyam Sinasra's exposition, classical music is steeped in the purest tradition. His command over techniques of Ragavistara, Swaraprastara, Naraval and Pallavi singing is highly impressive and indeed excellent. Doyen of music was well known for his purity of style, Ragabhava, Parthantara Suddhatva and wide repertoire. His expansive raga delineations in Kalyani, Yadukala Gamboji, Bhairavi, Kedara Gaula, Sahana, Dvijavanti were not only rich and scholarly, it won the hearts of Titans and Karnat in Carnatic music. Rao had mellifluous voice and his Shruti Suddham was the carnoicious delight. Srinivas Rao's music was quintessential amalgam of his various gurus rich music and he was hailed as an institution by himself to uphold the true ideals and values of Karnatic, uh, classical Carnatic music, indeed, he was Nadu Yogi. Whatever I have given you sacred this thing, it was the blessings of he received from uh, another GNB Mama. 
teacher par excellence. Srinivasarao had the rare privilege of teaching special composition to great monstros like Arikudi Raman Jayangar, Samanagudi Srinivasayar, M. S. Balakshmi, M. L. Vasantakumari, M. Balamurli Krishna, S. Ramanathan, Radha and Jayalakshmi, Tirchu Ramachandran, R. Vedavalli, Sukanda Kalamegam, Prapancham Sita Rama and P. Rama of our own Bangalore. His prominent disciples are Vidushi Dwaram Mangatayaru, Vidushi Srimati Arundhiti Sarkar, his sons and disciples, myself, Madhumani Rao and Purna Pragna. Many people know about his Gurutva for this MLV, MS Avrakshmi and others, but many people don't know about Arikudi Raman Jaygars. Arikudi Raman Jaygars, Dasar Pada, Dasa Sahitya, he learned from my father. Though he had listened to Sakar Amarao, when HMT wanted to bring out exclusively a LP and cassette, through KVN, he called and then he asked him to sing. In, uh, playing on the unjal, he used to take all that uh, lessons so seriously, just like a humble student. And his recording, you can hear, and then you will know what is his uh, <coughs> discipline of learning. Though Sinasara was much, uh, very much younger practitioner, but Sinasara considered him as a manasika guru. Character synonymous with creativity. I was asked, are you not wary of the phrase musicologist, author, creator, and connoisseur by which you are described? Actually, it is a most useful designation, I replied. Suppose one lecture demonstration that is not considered really fine, critics will think that for author, it was not a bad effort. Or if I should get an article of mine published that is not top standard, they will think that for a musicologist, he does not write badly. I am now uh, sharing very significant six episodes related to SSR's lives and times as a practitioner. Bhim Sen and Hanuman Sen. Pandit Bhim Sen Joshi, HMV release of Dasar Padams achieved a resounding success and was very popular. Pandit Ji and SSR were ardent disciples of Sri Satya Dhyanatirtha, head and pontiff of Uttaradimat, and both of them were our Madhvas. Panditji and S.S. Rao happened to visit Bangalore and had unexpected meeting. Talk of the group of admirers of Panditji was on his rendering, Kailasa was Gaurisha Isha. Yasangin Tilak Makamut, our Kambuji, Vijayvetal Dasa. One of them, Kamut, and one of them remarked that none of the Carnatic musicians can match this rendering. Panditji seemed to agree in appreciation. This provoked Rao that such irresponsible statement is totally wrong and unwarranted, as each version of the two systems had its own aesthetic beauty, but Carnatic music version is superior in comparison on Lakshya Lakshana that is reflected in Sahitya and Raghavava. The admirers of Panditji were upset and were ignorant of Rao's mastery and scholarship on Dasa Sahitya. Panditji requested Rao to sing Carnatic music version. On completion of his rendering, Bhimsenji was so delighted and paid reverential namaskaram to Rao. Panditji inspired, sang his version far superior to the recorded version. I still remember. Yes, Rao exclaimed that the experience of his singing and listening was like the beauty of Niagara Falls. Pat came the praise of Panditji to S.S. Rao, hailing his version as Ganga Pravaha. And he is Hanuma Sen, elder brother to him, Bhim Sen. Just to give you some idea, uh, Panditji, if you have all heard, Kaila Savasa Guri Chaita this is a this thing with powerful voice. He has given this thing. It is a yes. the beauty of Carnatic music. Same this. Kailas vas guri sha isha. See the wealth of Kamboji is in that, and then Tilak Kamod in that. You think is 
ತೈಲಧಾರೆ ಎಂತೆ ಮನಸ್ಸು ಕೊಡೋ ಹರಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಶಂಭೋ ದಟ್ ಮನಸ್ಸು ಇಸ್ ಸೋ ರಿಯಲಿ ದಟ್ ಒನ್ ಫೀಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟಚಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ನೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕರ್ನಾಟಿಕ್ ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಕ್ ವಿಚ್ ಅನ್ಫಾರ್ಚುನೇಟ್ಲಿ ಹಿಂದೂಸ್ತಾನಿ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಷ್ನರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಅಪ್ರಿಷಿಯೇಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದೋಸ್ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಟು ಮೈ ನಾಲೆಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಮಲ್ಲಿಕಾರ್ಜುನ್ ಮನ್ಸೂರ್ ಆಲ್ ಅದರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ವೈ ಐ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಮೆನಿ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಮೀ ಆನ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೂವ್ ವೆರಿ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಅವರ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಿಕ್ ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಕ್ ವಿದ್ವಾನ್ಸ್ ಈವನ್ ಹರಿ ಹರಿಹರನ್ ಅಶೋಕ್ ದೇ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಂದೂಸ್ತಾನಿ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲಿಕೇಟೆಡ್ ಬಂದೀಶ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲಿಕೇಟೆಡ್ ರಾಗಸ್ ವೇರ್ ಆಸ್ ಈವನ್ ದ ಗ್ರೇಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟಾಲ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಅಮೀರ್ಖಾನ್ ಸಿನ್ಸಿಲಿ ಟ್ರೈಡ್ ಬಟ್ ಮಿಸರಬಲಿ ಫೇಲ್ that clearly shows uh, what is the class of that indian classical music which is based on lakshya lakshada balamurli sir shared with me uh, when he was honored at french academy for cavalier award he was uh, invited and the chief of that academy he was totally against selecting an indian the two unknown carnatic musician so when he expressed unfortunately during his uh, speech varnamulli felt very bad he said give me 5 minutes you give me whatever piece you think most difficult which you have created then he took went back listen to it came back i am not exaggerating within 5 minutes he performed and gathering of nearly 6 7000 were spellbound and uh, what a magic he has created the great artist then he said no it is not balamurli it is karnataka sangeeta's greatness so with our tall notes and extension to the tall notes any world music we can understand and then we will be in a position to reproduce that is a fact nobody can determine uh, de- 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 deny very fact that our uh, designate sangeeta kala nidhi many people don't know i think chitravana ravikiran has created male harmony bringing uh, what was considered impossible the chords and harmony of western classical music and indian classical music of raga and melody put together he has created male harmony one of the greatest things to happen in indian classical music it it has been received very well in us and us lot of events and program i've been knocking every door but uh, i'm yet to get support from all the institutions yes things will happen on a restored historical air comes for the first time a jugalbandi national program with aim to promote listening pressure and appreciation of both the indian classical music systems hindustan and carnatic the concert will have 30 minutes each for two practitioners of the system singing separately strictly conforming to their systems of music singing a common raga bandish and kirtana raga selected was jay jayavanti our dijavanti jni wants mama was chief producer ar mudras and ss rao was producer working under jnb jnb had to assign this concert to ss rao as none of the graded artists stalwarts came forward to sing dijavanti ss rao sang chetasri balakrishna bhajare mudhuswami dikshita dijavanti and rupaka it was very well received and was highly acclaimed this broadcast of concert proved and set the trend of taking up this raga and compositions in carnatic music Sri Rallapalli Anthakrishna Sharma, a great maestro Lakshya Lakshana Vidwan, wrote a letter of appreciation to Sri Sri Rao, praising for restoring the last honor to Hindustani Ustad by Astavan Vidwan of Vijayanagaram Kingdom, Samsthanam, failing to take up the challenge of singing equivalent raga composition Jijay Jayavanti. To my knowledge, Jijayavanti Raga Chetha Sri was in Patantaram in Muthuswami Dikshita Parampara and very few Vidwans having learned and performing prior to 1950s. nabhuto nabhivishyati sri pb sinhas was a very personal friend and admirer of ss rao both as a musician and scholar he once was telling about abuse of nabhuto nabhivishyati and sought ss rao's opinion ss rao replied that he also decries the abuse of the statement 
he said how it is apt to use this to me as no leading and popular sabha had invited me in the past and is is not going to invite me in the future first events world music day united nations commence observance of the world music day for peace as team with events and programs led by great maestro uh, uh, ehudi menuhin ehudi menuhin sought suggestions and recommendations for the program from great maestros all over the world ssr was principal tamil nadu government music college chennai and had suggested recommended tuning two tamburas to perfection and play the tamburas before the commencement of the events and programs ehudi menuhin accepted the suggestion and implemented it with intended magical and great effect he wrote a letter of acknowledging one of the very apt and inspiring suggestion letter is in archives of tamil nadu government music college event managers attitude i am narrating one unfortunate incident of event managers attitude and behavior subservience to those populism and neglect of vidwa it was december music season in chennai and the program of sri parthasarathi swami sabha and venue of mailapur fine arts hyderabad brothers vidushi vidwan uh, seshachari raghavachari became immensely sought after artists ss rao and self uh, designed uh, to listen to them in live concert for the first time we purchased the uh, tickets for the two of two of our, uh, two of ours as none of them recognized us and she sheshadri secretary seemed to be busy and also taking not taking note of ss rao's presence concert was in progress and few vidwans who also were present noticed ss rao in the back seating came to greet him and talk to him and urged him to take the front seat deservingly ss rao politely declared declined in uh, absence of relevant authority not exceeding the uh, extending the invitation there was a suddenly commotion near the entrance and we saw sri seshadri secretary run into the gate panting and gasping we saw him coming back escorting vidushi bombay jayasri young and immensely popular performer to the front row seat one of the vidwans around ss rao vidwan tadepalli lokanath sharma who had also learned from my father felt sadness at the behavior of the secretary and wanted to talk to the secretary on this ss rao restrained him saying that this is one of his many experiences and does not attach any feelings or emotions to it and resumed listening to the concert in progress this is truth of the past and the present and power of populism over class with the continuum now one more incident in his life is sri krishna garas by chennai invited my guru and father ss rao to give a concert if i remember correct for the first time there was a very heavy rainfall and rain water flooding streets in madras and chennai ss rao did not agree for its cancellation i drove him to the sabha with great difficulty know him well vidwan tirparkadal veer raghavan and tanjur upendran also managed to reach sri krishna gan sabha only five ardent, ardent vidwans uh, fans of uh, ss rao were in the audience full concert was performed sri egna raman wanting to thank the artist addressed ss rao and said that for a long time he designed to listen to him in private and his wish was fulfilled today sri upendran was very much upset and immediately told ignaraman neer periya chakravartiyakum sinuvasrao thaniya paadu kekkirukku avare appadi ketkama umma manatha neenga kaapaathu neengal poongo and kudukama kudukama sinuvasrao ku vaaippu kuduthuttale adhu dhaan malai peya peenjuduthu ignaraman was dumbfounded became silent and walked away maybe that was the first skgs concert but definitely the last concert this is an episode not only in ss rao's life but may mahavidwans of class and not getting the support of mass that is my purpose of bringing that we have very great maestros living maestros they don't even get a one single opportunity to perform in all their seasons after seasons of chennai hundreds of sabhas bhakti ss rao was devoted to madhva's dvaita marga and follower of madhva pontiff for all the months with special reverence to pontiffs of utradi and bandarkare pejavar mats hailing from dasakota parampara and his own studies learning achieved mastery in dasarpadams of sri padaraya 
ವಾದಿರಾಯ ವ್ಯಾಸರಾಯ ಪುರಂದರ ಕನಕ ಜಗನ್ನಾಥ ವಿಜಯ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಮಲೇಶ ಬಿಟ್ಟಲ್ಲ ಹಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸೆಟ್ ಟು ಟ್ಯೂನ್ ಮೆನಿ ದಾಸರ್ ಪದಮ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಉಗಾ ಬೋಗಾಸ್ ಹಿ ನೆವರ್ ಕ್ಲೇಮ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಎ ಟ್ಯೂನ್ ಸ್ಮೇತ್ ಆಸ್ ಹಿ ಬಿಲೀವ್ ದಟ್ ದೇ ವೇರ್ ರೀಟ್ಯೂನ್ಡ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ಒರಿಜಿನಲ್ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ವರ್ನಮೆಟ್ಟೂಸ್ ಇನ್ ಲೈನ್ ವಿತ್ ಟ್ರಿನಿಟಿ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಕಲ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವರ್ಚ್ಯೂಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಟುಡೇ ಸ್ಟಾಕ್ ಶುಡ್ ವೆಲ್ ಮೋರ್ ಆನ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಾಸ ಸಾಹಿತ್ಯ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡೈಗ್ರೆಸ್ ಟು ಅದರ್ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟಾಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಏಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಟಾಕ್ ಹಿ ಫರ್ಮ್ಲಿ ಬಿಲೀವ್ ದಟ್ ಆರ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಕ್ ಈಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟಿಂಕ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಅದರ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಕ್ ಡಿವೋಷನಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಭಜನ ವೆರಿ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ಲಿ ಕನೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟು ದ ಆರ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಈಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೂ ಕೈಂಡ್ಸ್ ಐ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ರಸಿಕಾಸ್ ಟು ಪೇ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾ ಅಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈ ಟಾಕ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಈಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೂ ಕೈಂಡ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಟು ದ ವೆರಿ ಆರ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಟು ಇಮೋಷನ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ಥೆಟಿಕ್ ಆಫ್ ರಾಗ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಾಹಿತ್ಯ ವಿತ್ ಪ್ರೈಮಸಿ ಫಾರ್ ರಾಗ ಆಸ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಲೋವರ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಟು ದ ಮನೋಧರ್ಮ ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆರ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ರಾಗಭಾವ ಗೆಟ್ಸ್ ಎಂಪವರ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ಸಾಹಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವ ಅಕ್ಷರ ಇನ್ ಲಿರಿಕ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಅ ಪದಾರ್ಥ ಬಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಬೋತ್ ಲಯಸ್ವರ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಾಗಸ್ ಸ್ವರ ರಾಗ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಾಹಿತ್ಯ ಆರ್ ಟೂ ಐಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿತ್ ಹ್ಯಾಬಿಚುವಲ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೈಯರ್ ಎಂಫಸಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಓವರ್ ದ ಅದರ್ ಬೈ ದ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಷ್ನರ್ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮರ್ ಡಿವೋಷನ್ ಡಿಮಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಷ್ನರ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಟೋಟಲಿ ಎಲಿಮಿನೇಟ್ ಡಿಫಿಷಿಯನ್ಸಿ ಆಫ್ ಬೋತ್ ದ ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಅಪಶಬ್ದ ಈಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಸ್ಯಾಕ್ರಿಲೇಜಿಯಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಅಪಶ್ರುತಿ ಆರ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಡಿಮ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಡಿವೋಷನ್ ಟು ದ ಕ್ರಿಟಿಕಲ್ ಅದರ್ ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಷನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಂಗಿಕ ವಾಚಿಕ ಮಾನಸಿಕ ಡಿವೋಷನ್ ಟು ಆಸ್ ಅ ಡೆಮಾನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟರ್ ಐ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಬಟ್ ವಿ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಐಮ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಟೇಕನ್ ಟು ದ ಟೈಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಚಂದರ್ ಬಾಲ ಡಿವೋಷನ್ ಟು ದ ಸಂಪ್ರದಾಯ ಸಂಪ್ರದಾಯ ಆಫ್ ಆರ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಡಿವೋಷನ್ ಟು ದ ಗುರು ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಷ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪರೋಕ್ಷ ಇಂಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ದೇರ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಡಿವೋಷನ್ ಟು ದ ವಾಗೇ ಕಾರಾಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟು ದ ವೆರಿ ರೆಸಿಕಾಸ್ ಹೂ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಎಂಬಾಡಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಟು ದ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಷ್ನರ್ಸ್ ಡಿವೋಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಪರ್ಸೀವ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಇಂಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಷನ್ ಡೀಡ್ಸ್ ಎನ್ಹಾನ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ರಿಫೈನಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸಂಪ್ರದಾಯ ಬೈ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಅಡಿಷನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಡೆಲಿವರಿ ಆಫ್ ಜಾಯ್ ಟೆಂಪರಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿನೆಸ್ pleasure lasting happiness in time duration bliss everlasting happiness bhakti only enables and empowers the kalpita and the edifice of kalpita only enables and empowers the kalpana kalpana only enables and empowers nada anubhavam and nada sakshatkaram to the blessed few bhakti only supports perfection of purity of swara purity of shabda of akshara and purity of kala pramana bhakti only results in insights of vagaikara hridayam kavi and gaya bhakti only supports the ability and skill of recreativity and original creativity its values and rare of the rarest occurrence of original and new a fresh creativity ದಾಸಾನುದಾಸ ಎಸ್ ಎಸ್ ರಾವ್ ವಾಸ್ ಅವಾರ್ಡ್ ಸಂಗೀತ ನಾಟಕ ಅಕಾಡೆಮಿ ಇನ್ ರೆಕಗ್ನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸರ್ವಿಸಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಟು ದ ದಾಸ ಸಾಹಿತ್ಯ ಫೆಸಿಲಿಟೇಟಿಂಗ್ ರಾವ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಷಿಯನ್ ಟಿ ಕೆ ಗೋವಿಂದರಾವ್ ಡಿಕ್ಲೇರ್ಡ್ ದಾಸರೆಂದರ ಪುರಂದರ ದಾಸರಯ್ಯ ಪುರಂದರ ದಾಸರ ದಾಸರೆಂದರೆ ಇವರಯ್ಯ ಶ್ರೀನಿವಾಸರಾಯ ರಾವ್ ಲರ್ನ್ ದೇವರ್ ನಾಮಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ಕರ್ಣ ಪರಂಪರ ಆಫ್ ಹರಿದಾಸ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಹರಿದಾಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ಲ
even till today unfortunately many practitioners uh, they have not realized that uh, these are the creations of uh, art forms of music also so earlier it was being uh, tukadas and the end of this thing that they used to sing fortunately many uh, maestros have changed the trend and they have started uh, taking it up as many uh, main major items also i, I need to specifically highlight a misconception rasikas and practitioners about form dasar padams are purely devotional light classical music and not suitable for art form of uh, music haridasas kannada kannada karnataka sangeetha vagaikara are of two kinds vyasakuta and dasakuta as it is very well known it is not well known that both vyasakuta and dasakuta were lakshya lakshana vidwans and have composed both devotional and art form compositions in karna parampara unfortunately devotionals have survived in large numbers and thanks to haridasas and devotional women in every household of west bengal uh, karnat uh, region but art form compositions have survived in very small numbers this has led to the misconception and even the de devaluation haridasas of vyasakuta and dasakuta flourished during the reign of vijayanagara empire 15th to 17th century sri padaraya 15th century the first and foremost was contemporary of kalinatha a commentator of uh, sarangadeva sangeetha ratnakara vyasaraya vadiraya purundaradasa kanakadasa 15th to 16th century were contemporaries of ramamatya swaramela kalanidhi poluri govinda kavi raga taala chintamani pandareeka vithala shadraga chandrodaya all these great composers and lakshanika lived and worked within the geographical historical limits inspiring the transitions in the principles and practice of classical music and also reflected in the systems of haridasa composition forms haridasa's technical vocabulary given in their compositions require really really research and documentation for posterity our great mahavidwan maestro sat ra satyanarayana did even service but he was not uh, supported well and then there are many institutions i have been approaching they have funds for all other forms of music not for our carnatic music including indira gandhi national service which is supposed to be nodal center for research and documentation that is the state he took up as a mission to spread the haridasas composition both in awareness and appreciation he delivered lectures and demonstrations and also giving concerts of devarnamas his very last lecture demonstration was karnatak sangeetha pitamaha sri purandar dasa in annual music conference indian fine arts society chennai in the year 1993 which was inspiring and united in tr krishnan president of the satasan conference to declare srinivas rao ku oru man neram podave podadu oru naalavathu theva nam ellarum periya bhagyashaligal great mahavidyams like tr sir many many great masters listen to that last Uh, let's say the mass session it is not enough for sinosra one uh, sorry uh, we are all indeed very fortunate ar and sangeet nak academy have uh, uh, archived his recordings on devarnamas he enjoy, enjoyed the fruits of works in successful acceptance dasar padams its musical qualities he taught many of the great maestros the compositions he became a guru of dasar padams to great maestros ms balakshmi and resulted in attaining greater popularity for uh, dasar padams great maestro ml vasanth kumar also learned uh, many compositions uh, from him arey kodi for hmv recording dasa compositions mss mlv dr bmk kvn popularized the sahitya compositions learned from him other than great maestros of mysore ss rao had to, uh, set to tune many dasar padams which were not in karna parampara he also set to tune dasar padams which were in karna parampara and in bhajan paddhati making them art form compositions rao being a haridasa and also art form practitioner used simple varnamettus and created art form compositions out of them with the sampradaya of trinity class of compositions he was recognized for his missionary work and he politely declined uh, declared uh, that they are not original works as they generously Uh, borrowed trinity ideas of composition 
Many of them were sung in air, broadcast in archives, and also in Sangeet Natak Academy, to my knowledge. They are number more than a few uh, hundreds. He, deserved, he served Rasa Sahitya project for few years. He gave the manuscripts of his notation to the project. He few, few noted compositions are in custody of my younger brother, practitioner, is Purna Pagna Rao. <coughs> I met Dr. Balamuli Krishna, sir, to convey my deep appreciation for his tuning and singing Dasar Padas, which are broadcast by A.R. Bengaluru in Gita Radhana program. I queried, Guru, Guru Garu, how come all other compositions of Vagyakaras other than Haridasa's, this is your style based renditions, and Haridas compositions you mostly conform to the Sampradaya? Legend replied with his characteristic smile, my elder mother, Sandhyamdhanam, Gari teachings and blessings. He is my guru for light classical music compositions, devotional, and the art of tuning such lyrics. I will now give you listening experience of some select compositions which are recordings uh, <clears throat> and a broadcast of live concerts, please. <laughs> Christian Christian TV via company. Quality of Begara, please. So, bit bits time. Oh, my God. 
One of his favorite dance of compositions. results in righteousness and idealism, Esasrao was hailed as an institution by himself to uphold the true ideals and values of classical Karnataka. I am extremely thankful and grateful to Maestro H. Sudhindra for giving me this rare honor of presenting a lecture demonstration and to Sangeeta Kala Ratna Shankar who had proposed this program to Ms. Sudhindra. To all of the great Maestros, Vidwan, Vidushis who lovingly extended their support to me by attending this lecture and demonstration to all of you Rasikottamas uh, also to have supported me by your attendance and heard me with rapt attention. Hari Guru Bhyo Namaha.